Hello, my name is Greg Ashman. I'm a teacher, deputy principal, and a researcher in, based in Australia. I research cognitive load theory. Cognitive load theory was developed by a guy called John Sweller and his colleagues starting in the 1980s, and it's a very important theory for teachers to know about. Um, breaking it down very briefly, cognitive load theory models the mind as consisting of a very limited working memory and an effectively limitless long-term memory. This has two major implications for teachers. The first implication is that when you're learning new complex content, um, you need it to be broken down for you um, because um, the working memory can only process about four new items at a time. So if you throw um, students into real world problem solving situations, for instance, a very popular idea, inquiry learning is a very popular idea, um, you will overwhelm this working memory. So it means that we need uh, these um, these more structured, explicit approaches for teaching novices new content that's when it's complex. Um, the other uh, key um, uh, thing is that, uh, the key implication is that because long-term memory is effectively limitless, that's our superpower. Um, things that are extremely hard to do as a novice when you're first learning how to do it um, become relatively easy um, when you are a, um, a, a when you've got lots of stuff in your long-term memory, you, we can engage entire schemas. So, for instance, um, if um, I'm I know that three x equals eighteen, um, that's a really difficult thing to teach novices how to interpret, how to understand. There's four elements; they interact with each other, they're in a relationship with each other. Um, a lot of students don't understand that the equals sign means uh, a balance between two quantities, that the two quantities are identical, they think it means put the answer here, um, but those of you that have studied any algebra will already know that x is 6, um, and this is because you've activated an entire schema in long-term memory. So um, knowledge is important, what we put in our long-term memory is important, it's not interchangeable and arbitrary, uh, it's what we think with, um, and um, when we're instructing uh, students who are novices, uh, we need to we need to do so in a way that doesn't overwhelm their working memory. Um, I have a substack, fillingthepale.substack.com. Uh, you can follow me there.